Hello, I'm Mark Mishik, President and Chief Executive of the Hazel and Betty Ford Foundation. There are a lot of exciting things going on inside of our organization right now. We've been able to develop a new mission and vision for the organization, and I'm really happy to share that with you today. Our new mission is this. We are a force of healing and hope for individuals, families, and communities affected by addiction to alcohol and other drugs. I'm very excited about the start of the mission. We are a force. We are a group of professionals. We are a group of staff who care deeply about the alcoholic and addict, and we're gonna do something about it. So we are a force. I just think that that first sentence, that we are a force of healing and hope, to me, says it all. And I can see it in my work every day. It just implies such strength and such a sense of, we are gonna change the world, which is so exciting. We are part of a force, something bigger, and together we can really accomplish anything. The fact that we are a force is such an amazing thing because it starts with we, which is what the 12 steps start with. We don't do any of this alone. It's really just the embodiment of these two organizations coming together and really being that driving force. It's not aggressive, it's really about hope and healing, which is a, a beautiful, beautiful thing. And I love being a force for healing and hope. And as a force, we are a powerhouse and we can do many things to save many lives. You know, hope is a piece that really, really speaks to my spirit. Hope is something that people in early recovery really, really need, but struggle with having. Addicts and alcoholics and their families have spent so much time feeling really hopeless that to be able to be there when someone gets that look in their eyes that my life really doesn't have to be that way, it can change. To be able to witness that hope, is there's nothing better. And we felt it was important that we called out individuals and then also call out families separately because we all know that addiction is a family disease. And finally, we've become a very broad-based organization offering a full continuum of services, so we thought it was important that we called out communities for our great prevention and education efforts. I think the fact that we include helping the individual along with the families and community is important. In order for somebody to successfully recover, it really does take the entire family to to join them. I think before it's always been so focused on the person, the addict, the alcoholic, but now we're actually reaching out to communities and families, which are such a in, in, in really incredibly important part of the recovery process. And maybe most importantly, our employees and our board have recommitted to the legacy of the Betty Ford Center and of Hazelden to ensure that we are committed singularly, singularly on treating addiction to alcohol and other drugs. The other great work our employees have done and put together our new vision as an organization. Together, we will overcome addiction. Now we all know that you can't cure addiction. So what does it mean to overcome it? What it means is that we marshal all of the great resources that are available scientifically, that we treat every patient, every person with dignity and respect that we make sure that we're a teaching institution and we bring everything to the bedside or to the group therapy room, wherever treatment, wherever education, wherever prevention occurs in our organization. And we make sure that this disease, which is a chronic disease, is managed over the lifetime of people who come to us for care. And we do know that people can live a lifetime uh, happy, joyous, and free and can recover from addiction to alcohol and other drugs. And that's what our vision is all about. Overcoming addiction to me means overcoming the active phase of addiction, not engaging in the use and the numbing of whatever feelings you're trying to run away from. It's not just about abstinence, it's about healing, it's about um, getting well, and there is hope and positivity at the end of that tunnel. Together We Will Overcome Addiction resonates with me because I know that nobody can do this alone. I couldn't do it alone. I can't do what I do here alone. So we're all working together to be able to help heal these families and individuals who have been inflicted by the disease of addiction. It's really the inclusion of the work that we do as staff, but it's also the incorporation and the inclusion of the patient and their families and really everyone that they have within their network. There's a quality of confidence and strength in the word overcoming. It's almost like 
you climb a mountain and you overcome the height. So I do think like, for example, when people say I've been in recovery for 90 days or one year, they have overcome some internal barriers and some internal demons or whatever it might be. They have overcome that, that is the truth. One of the key reasons why we merged, why the Betty Ford Center and Hazelin came together was to serve more people. Now that we're together, we are a national system of care. There are many ways, many ways, that we can make sure we fulfill that obligation as we have in the past. We can make sure that every patient who comes to our doors is treated with dignity and respect. We can have the courage and the commitment to take an unpopular stance, as we've done with our Core 12 programming. We can ensure that what we do in treatment is evidence-based. We can be broad-based in our approaches to all of the people who come to us for services, making sure that we're serving all the populations, all the communities that touch us uh, as a national organization. What I find exciting about the merger with Hazelden and Betty Ford is it provides many people who are like me, people who are chemically dependent, with additional opportunities, resources, and to know that there is even more help available and we work together. What excites me most um, about this merger, and especially in doing my job, is the vast amount of resources that I have available now to provide to patients for their continuing care. A richer diversity of staff, a richer diversity uh, of clientele, different programming. Uh, I think we're going to be able to help more holistically a wider range of people with complex issues. The two leaders in the chemical dependency field have now merged together. It gives us a much broader client base and the ability to help more people. We're a national system of care and we can reach patients all over the country. One thing I like about working here is that I'm very confident that there is no better place for people to get help in the, in the U.S. It covers it all. Being that we're the largest, we now have an opportunity to reach more lives, to save more families, and to be a greater influence in treatment and recovery. What happens, I think, when we have the two biggest names in addiction coming together is both the ability, some of the best professionals in the, in the world in this industry coming together, but also a responsibility to be on the cutting edge and bring to this new century uh, the professionalism that we have here and to help all those uh, folks that we consider clients, whether it's the actual person coming here, the community they come from, or the family associated with them. I really want to thank you for your commitment, your caring, and your compassion for each other and for our patients, our families, and our customers. All the work that you do every day makes all the difference, and the future is only going to be brighter. Thank you. We are a force. We are a force of healing, of healing and hope. Of healing and hope. For individuals. For individuals, families and communities. Families and communities. Affected by addiction. To alcohol. To alcohol and other drugs. Together. 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 We will overcome addiction.